bright and early on a rainy Sunday morning. Usually the only thing that gets Captain Will out of bed, unless we have to move the boat, is the smell of coffee. He's kind of a monster until he has his coffee. crazy cats and kittens out there. We're gonna make some quad coffee this morning. I'm not on the boat, impossible dream today. Normally I'd be using a French press so I could wake up all my friends and crew members with some potent strong coffee to get the day going. But I'll show you how I do it at home. Coffee. Good morning. Well, Macaulay's not here to make the coffee this morning. We're gonna join him in a second. But here on the boat, coffee is very important. When we do an open ocean passage, we could be going four or five days straight, 24 seven, and we might make four or five pots of coffee in a day. So on the boat, we use a French press. And so the way we make coffee, it's very easy. You got your kettle. And the first thing you do is it up and get that going. Okay, while that's heating up, I'm gonna turn you over to David McCauley. He's gonna show you how he makes coffee at home. We have a few uh, lists of ingredients and supplies. First, we have this thing, which I don't know what it's called. Um, and then we have the filter to go in the thing, ground coffee, a boiler, kettle, coffee mug, milk, if you take your coffee like that, and a spoon. We also got the trusty quad glove. Thank you, ADI Technologies. This uh, prevents me from burning myself when I'm doing things in the kitchen. And it's always good to have a towel nearby. You don't want any more scars on your legs from spilling boiling water on yourself. Okay, so first step, let's grab the kettle. Because I'm going solo today, I'm just going to put a little bit of water in there. Kettle fits right on the heating pot and bam. This is when I like to put the quad glove on because otherwise this thing is hot and a lot of us don't have sensation in our hands or on our arms. So I attach the glove so I can manhandle the kettle. Okie dokie. I always like to get close to the countertop because inevitably stuff will fall on the ground. When you're the first one up on the boat, you get to decide how potent you want the coffee. All those other scallywags are down below deck still sawing logs and dreaming of Z's, 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 and C's. Deborah's hardcore. She goes five scoops, and that's a little powerful for me. So this morning I'm just gonna do four. I do three scoops. You do three scoops? That's what I was trained. Do you like it with three scoops? Yeah, I feel like it tastes fine. Like right three there. scoops? It's nothing. Sometimes when you have multiple people on the boat at the same time, you might want to listen to their tastes and desires when it comes to coffee. There's certainly some aficionados. My advice is to disregard all that and make how you want. And so here we go. We got four heaping tablespoons. We've got about, you know, four pretty hefty scoops into this device that uh, I still don't know the name of. So if you've never used one of these devices before, it's great for making the individual cup. And then you just pour the water in. You just grab it with your thumb like this, and you can support the bottom with that. An oven glove also works. You 
You can see the coffee filtering down. Nice and dark, nice and potent. That's a good way to start the day on the impossible dream. I like to give it a really good stir. And then you put the top on. You let that uh, steep for four minutes, and then coffee time. Okay, so we let that steep for a few minutes and filter through. Oh yeah, that looks good. So I like to do a little splash of milk. Mmm, look at that. All right, David's shooting vertically there, so let's try to get back to landscape. Very nice, all right. It's been four minutes. You give it a nice gentle press, and you have beautiful coffee. I like mine with a little bit of half and half. And a little sugar. Usually I put Macaulay on the watch just ahead of me so he can make the coffee and it's ready when I come on up. But today I gotta make my own. Cheers. Comment below, give us a shout out. We hope everybody's staying safe during quarantine and uh, see you this summer.